All right, y'all. We made it to bar class. Should be interesting. You know, I'm gonna check in with you after. We got my sweat rag, we got my socks, all of it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check in with y'all after. It was a little bit dramatic getting here. I forgot that my gas light came on. Sorry, Daddy, if you're watching. He told me never let my car get to the point where the gas light comes on. I know, I know better. Moral story is my gas light came on when I left the Beyonce concert. It was super late when I got home. I didn't get home till 1.30. I'm not getting gas at 1.30. And I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I was supposed to go somewhere for lunch today and get gas, but I wasn't able to. So all that to say, I get in the car to come to class and I was like, D I forgot to put gas in my car. So it's gonna be a mad dash to the gas station once we're done. Okay, they advise you to get to class 10 to 15 minutes before it starts, we're in that window. So let me go in, I'll holler at y'all later. Well, it's official. I don't think I like bar classes. You know who I felt like? Oh my gosh, you know who I felt like? <laughs> okay, the lighting looks great, but I can't see you. I felt like Aunt Viv, when she went to dance class, and if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. I felt like Aunt Viv. It also didn't help that I'm a beginner. I assume that what I took was a beginner's class, but it felt like everybody in the class knew the routine but me. So just imagine you're in a class five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and do this in seven, eight. That's how I felt. Lucky for them, I'm a cheerleader. Well, I was. And I know an eight count. They weren't counting in eights, but that's not my point. My point is they had a whole routine going and I wasn't familiar with it. So I felt out of place in a lot of ways. I didn't make any friends in this class like I have. I don't think I told y'all I made friends in Pilates too, because you know, it's me. But I made friends in Pilates, as you know, or as you, now you know you know it now is what i'm saying and then you know i made a friend in yoga i didn't make any friends today i felt like aunt viv i felt i feel the burn in my thighs there were a lot of moments where it would have been nice to have you know how if you take a class the instructor put hands on you and put you in the position to be in the right thing to be in the right position it would have been nice to have that there were moments where I know I was doing the wrong thing just to see if she correct me and she didn't so you know that's annoying I know baby I know my gas light is on and I am scared <laughs> baby I am just down the street if you get me down the street I'll go get you a wash maybe not today I need to check the weather app, but I promise I'm gonna get you a wash soon. We are right, and we are a light, I think two lights away. You could do it, I believe in you. Jesus, it's me again. I'm just trying to get down the street, Lord. If all else fails, I do have a gas can, uh, gas can in my car. My legs are shaking as I'm trying to push on the, on the brake, Jesus. Oh my God. So bar was, I mean, it was interesting. It just would have been nice to have a little bit more hands-on experience from the instructor. And it was one of those classes where they have the little mouthpiece on, but they also have music on. I could hear the music better than I could hear her. And she sounded a little muffled. So I'm like, I'm looking at other people in the class to see what to do because not only do I not understand you, I can barely hear you because the music's so loud and you're not putting hands on me to let me know that I'm not in the right positions. Put hands on me, let me know, been here, do this. Like I want, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it right. And I don't, there were a lot of things I know I wasn't doing right just based off <laughs> how, how uh, everyone else looked compared to me. And it didn't help that I often lost the instructor cause she just, she would do, she would get in the positions, which is good. But I'm like, girl, where you at? I'm looking for you and you lost in the sea of everybody else <sighs> I'm not gonna totally write it off but I won't be rushing to a bar class anytime soon
Oh my gosh, I have to touch a gas pump. Ah, I don't have any gloves. Ugh, germs. <laughs> I have sanitizer in the car. Turn your engine off, babe. Mm. All right, I'm not sure how much sense I was making as soon as I got out of class and just under the, the, um, you know how it is you're feeling the effects of the workout and I don't know if I was I think I was making some sense um, another thing that I didn't like was there was no like is this your first class there was no welcoming situation it was like hey there's some cubbies what's your name okay we got you checked out you know what I'm saying it was that but it wasn't like oh hey is this your first class um, they didn't tell me so the other participants had dumbbells they had these little it looked like rings so imagine two rings connected but stretchy these two bands that were connected and they had a ball I wasn't instructed to get those things it was just kind of like looking around and saying oh everybody else got it so I guess I got I'll get up and go get that too and then the gag is I got up to go get the things that no one told me to go get and I come back and the class has started. I was like, are you kidding me? I got here 15 minutes early, got no kind of preparation. I finally realized, oh, I probably need to get these things. Cause again, I'm just sitting there stretching. No one's told me anything. And then when it finally dawns on me, uh, girl, I think you need to go get those, that ball, those stretchy bands and the weights. I come back out literally less than a minute, maybe two tops and the class had started. The reason why it took a little longer is because they had a bin for three pound weights, because you do weight stuff too. They had a bin for three pound weights and five pound weights. I had to, somehow I managed to walk out with a three and a five. I mean, it's me, are you surprised? And when I went back to take my five pound back, because something told me I was gonna need a three. Yes, I have tens at home that I use, but something told me I was gonna need my threes, or their threes in this case. And so, I went back to take the five and get a three and yeah they had already started and I was just like not cool it just it didn't seem like it was for beginners is all I'm saying I just needed I'm someone who likes instruction especially when I'm new to it but if you don't even bother to ask if I'm new I don't know so maybe if I go somewhere else maybe a different instructor it'll be a different experience. So I'm not gonna completely write it off. The instructor didn't even say her name. If she did, again, I couldn't hear her over the um, music slash muddled microphone. So I might go back and look. I'm gonna go and look and see who the instructor was and then basically just not take her class. <laughs> Assuming I do this again. Ooh, that hurt my thighs. Hey y'all, we got goodies from Fabletics. So I'm about to do a try on haul for y'all. I've never ordered from, am I recording yet? I've never ordered from them before. So, should be interesting. The only place I've ever gotten workout clothes from, I'm trying to talk while not doing that. The only place I've ever gotten workout clothes from is Old Navy and as of late, Amazon. So, I joined Fabletics and um, they were having a really big sale. So I got a lot of stuff and we're gonna try it on, I hope for the best. Stay tuned. First up, these high-waisted leggings. Do they even look like they'll fit? Uh, yeah, they look like they might. So let's see. <laughs> I need to, I wish I had a mirror out here. I don't. Um, let me see. Can I? I think we got a winner. I think these are good. Let me go check out my butt. Okay, I think, I think we're good. You gotta make sure the butt is giving what it's supposed to give. So, oh, yeah, my knee just cracked. Pretend you hear that. 
Yep. Ugh. Someone needs to stretch more. It's me. I'm someone. Ooh. Okay. Yep. I like these. The material soft. Okay. Yep. We good. Um. What's next? They have an interesting smell. Let's go up. Hmm. Ooh, this is soft. Is it too small though is the question. Does it match? Oh, it matches, look at me. That was unintentional. Okay, no, it's not too small. Let's see. I need a mirror. Okay, we like this. A little matchy matchy situation, so we good here. Okay. All right, we cooking with gas, y'all. We got my pockets on the side, which I like. I think the bud is giving, I didn't look at it. <laughs> And the sports bra is good. Let me double check. And last but not least, it's just a little tank top to wear over stuff like this. This looks kind of big. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's fine. It is a little big, but I'll keep it because it's it's fine. <laughs> Push come to shove, I can tie a little knot or something. It's, it's not that deep. Okay, we are impressed with our very first Fabletics purchase. Now I just got to be mindful to do the thing. If you have anything like Fabletics or... Um, What's the other one called? Uh, Savage X Fenty. You know that you gotta skip every month, so now I have something new to add to my list of things to skip. Uh oh, hold on, there we go. Oh, no pockets. That would've been nice, but okay. That's always something I gotta worry about. I have my dad's legs and arms but my mom's torso, so it's like things sometimes don't fit me the way they should because of my limbs. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna wash these and um, yeah, get them ready to debut at the places where I work out. All right, well, I need to figure out what I'm doing with myself for the rest of the day, so. <laughs> I'll check in with you in a minute.